my country, my country. They must have taken bribe from him and set him free. All evidences and testimonies against him are irrelevant. No justice for the people that must have died from the fake drugs that he imported. Or those who are suffering from the long-term effect the drugs must have caused. And many more will still die because he's not stopping soon. What kind of country is this? <sighs> no. He isn't going free. He won't. Hey, Boo. What's up? <laughs> you always know what to say at any point. Well, your baby is fine. Okay, I've heard you. It's fine. So tell me, how has your day been? The hunt begins now. Who prepared this account? I did, ma. And the huge figures spent on transportation supposedly sound right to you. Um, ma, you know, I do my work just the way I'm directed and how I'm directed to do it. I use the figures just as I was directed, ma. Directed by who? Head of accounts, ma. Take this back. 
prepare an account based on the figures submitted by the transportation department and if anyone asks you tell him or her that the chief internal auditor did yes, sir. and one more thing Zick. Yes, do not do things that would incriminate you because you're trying to impress someone Okay? Yes, ma'am. I just Good afternoon, Mr. Kenny. I hope all is well. Keep your greetings to yourself. Stella, I discovered that you instructed my staff, Zik, to discard the accounts for, of last month. And you want him to do new ones with new data. Why would you do that? Well, I did my job, sir. The figures put in for transportation are exorbitant and unreal. We can do well by using relatively real figures. So that the company wouldn't need the services of an external auditors. Are you telling me to my face that those figures are fictitious? Like I said earlier, we can use real figures. Now listen to me, young woman and listen well. The figures in the account are not your job to audit. Do you understand me? Your job, if at all you have anything doing with this company, is to look at documents. Documents that are corresponding with expended figures. This is not your company. With all due respect, sir. Well, this company entrusted me to make sure that its resources are rightly dispersed. And it's my duty to query wrong accounts. <laughs> uh, young lady, Miss Obiekwe, or whatever they call you, I am warning you. Stay out of my way. Listen, no, 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 look at me. Stay out of my way. <laughs> you wouldn't want to make an enemy of me. If you do not stay out of my way, I will cross you. Did you get that? This is the last one. I'm not going to again. Why do you like making threats when I do not agree with you? Do you really think that you can crush me like you always say? <laughs> this is the last warning. I will not repeat myself again. Good day. They feel like the world revolves around them. I've had enough of your nonsense, Mr. Ken. You have taken enough. He who lives in a glass house shouldn't engage in a stone wall.
Babe. 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 Oh. Babe. What is it? Are you okay? Something bothering you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm fine. Oh, tell that to a guy you just met a few minutes ago. Something is bothering you and I'm very sure of that. Unless you don't want to share. Hey, but... Mr. Kenny... Is that it again? Mr. Kenny, the head of the accounts? Mm -hmm. Look, he tried to frighten the company and I stopped him. Then he came to my office making threats for me to stay out of his way. <laughs> he even threatened to crush me if I don't stay out of his way. Okay, babe, this is serious. I think it's high time you reported him to company's management. No. I don't want to be the whistleblower. I am not even concerned about his threats. I am more concerned about the people working under him. He has practically turned them to his puppet. They do his bidding without even asking questions. Then that is more reason you should report him now. I am worried. I'm worried he might want to just um, get you out of the way by any means necessary. <laughs> People like that, they can do anything for money and power. <laughs> He can only try. You need to relax. I know you're worried about me. Hmm? Look, my major concern is liberating those people from his grief. You have to be careful, okay? Because there is no one that can replace you here in my heart. There's just one you for me. Hmm? Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Of course. What about those pretty nurses and doctors in your hospital? Are you sure they can't replace me? So you're scared of them? Well... Now, come here! <laughs> Stop! Come here, Stop. No one can replace you. Mm -hmm. No one. Mm. No one. Mm. No doctor. <laughs> No nurse. <laughs> I love you, babe. I love you. Too. You need to be careful for me, okay?
I said I want to meet with him as soon as possible. Calm down, bro. Have you thought this over? Are you sure you want to toe that path? Listen, I have done all the thinking I needed to do, and I know the implications. Do you get it? This is what I want to do. Okay. <laughs> you know there is no going back from this. If that's what you want, I will fix an appointment. And I will let you know when it is fixed. Remember, discretion is very important here. Don't, for, forget discretion. Don't worry about that. Okay? I know the drill. And I am set for it. Okay? If that's what you want. Yes, I'll be waiting. Thank you. Nonsense.
you won't see me coming. I don't understand what's going on. Why are you taking my drink? What do you mean? I only stepped out to ease myself. And you're already taking my drink and sitting on my chair. Oh, really? Well, miss, I'm sure that they mix up so much because this is my drink, this is my chair, but I've been here for a while. Why don't you look? Are you sure that's not your brain? Oh my goodness. Please, I am so sorry. I... Yeah, I think you're right. Please, I'm really sorry. I am so embarrassed right now. No, it's okay. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Mix up happens. Um, I'm so sorry. Besides, you're drinking the same... See? You're drinking the same drink. Oh, oh yes, I think so. so ah, uh, thank you, right? No However, why don't you join me? Ladies are not supposed to be alone. Uh, why don't you join us? Wouldn't that be inconveniencing you? I mean, you may have your reasons for coming here alone. Hello, good afternoon. I'm fine. Please, what am I on to? I'm very sorry, but may I know who I'm speaking with? Yeah. Yes, I remember. Hi, Mr. Collins. I am so sorry I forgot to save your number. All right, I don't mind. So, see you then. Bye. The game is on. Let's play. Well, I want to say thank you for the opportunity of seeing you again because um, I never in my wildest imagination thought that I would see you again after the last night. <laughs> well, what can a loner do? A loner? What do you mean loner? All right, why don't you just tell me about this loner? Why not go first? Tell me about yourself. 
Well, I'll be glad to do that. Well, you already know my name. I'm Collins. I am married with two kids. My wife and two kids are abroad. While I'm in Nigeria doing business, I import general goods and any other thing that will bring profits. Mm. Impressive. Okay, my name is Abigail. I work in an insurance company. I have an ex-husband and I am 32 years old. An ex-husband, you say? Wow. I am a divorcee. I understand, and I can imagine how painful it could have been to you. <laughs> well, thanks for the empathy, but I'm fine now. Well, so why remain a loner when, as a matter of fact, you can just make a choice from the league of men that throng your space? Well, let's say maybe I am not ready for any more dramas and maybe I need time to heal from the hurt that I experienced in my previous relationship. Well, that sounds like a good decision. However, I think you still need someone to help you heal. Mm. Well, that is your opinion. But I will put that under advisement. Well, um, I'd like to see more of you because looking at you, beyond your beauty and your courage, you are smart. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to see more of you. And why will I want to continue seeing someone else's husband? Don't you think I'll be depriving her of her husband's attention? You're getting it wrong. Of course, you would not be disturbing anybody. It's just common friendship, nothing more. <laughs> okay, I'll consider that. Okay. So, why not tell me more about your business and the kind of goods you import? Well, I import general goods, like I told you. Goods that will make profit for me. That's all. Anyway, let's, let's, let's have a drink together. Thank you. Let's toast to the beginning of new friendship. Friendship. Wow. Ah. At some point, I thought you didn't quite like me enough to see me again. So that's why it looks like I'm like standing on a toilet building in the wall.
Adnan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. What a pleasant coincidence. It makes my work much easier. Is this seat reserved for someone? Oh. Wow. Then that person would have to vacate that chair for the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen in my life. Come on, baby. Sit down. Compliments. Your wife then. Oh, this is a beautiful moment we should not spoil. Please. Hmm? <laughs> now just place your order first, then we'll take it out from there. Okay, if you say so. Well, I hope you had fun as much as I did. Hmm? Honestly, I can't wait to see you again. However, I am sad to inform you that I will be traveling very shortly to Anisha for business. Oh. But I assure you, I will be back in a jiffy. That's good. Hmm? That's Did good. you just say, that's good? Just like that. I take it then that you're not going to miss me. And I thought I had a friend who cared. <laughs> of course I do care. <laughs> What do you want me to do for you? Well, um, I want you to eliminate something. Man or woman?
will make her issue. Cut. Uh, well, I don't really care how you go about your business, but the thing is, I want her dead. Okay? And listen, it's be as soon as possible. Most importantly, I don't want it to be traced back to me. Is that something you can handle? Please. Five hundred kick. What? <laughs> Five hundred thousand. <laughs> I really like noise. No, 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 they are calm numbers. 30, 60, 36, 40, 45. I feel Max back. Okay. Let's show you the job, alright? Uh, hello, Swirat, how are you? Okay. So where, where are you now? Come on, Aya, come, come to the office, please. I'm waiting for you. Uh, come now, come before others will get to the office, okay? I'm waiting. Please come right away, okay? Hey. I miss you. Mm -hmm. Pip, wait. I'm dirty. As you can see, I'm still cleaning. Who cares? You can be dirty outside, but to me, you are an angel. Come on, babe. We need to be careful. Remember what happened the other day? Forget about what happened. Eh? I miss you, Daddy. I miss you too, but we are have sure to be careful. Me? Are you sure you miss me? But we have to be careful. I know. Are you sure you miss me? Yes, I do. Are you sure me? <laughs> you know I missed you now. Mm. <laughs> mm.
Papa, when will you wake up? The few minutes that I just left here, you're already asleep. I told you to stay alert. What if I was being chased and we needed to escape? I'm, I'm really sorry, boss. It, it won't happen again. Be sorry, boss. Sorry for yourself. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, Mr. Penny. Uh, good afternoon, Stella. <clears throat> can I help you? Yes, you can. Um, this came from your office and you signed it. And? There are two customers whose debts became zero, with no evidence of payment. Do you mind explaining to me what happened? Listen to me, Stella. I am not your servant, and I do not work for you. Accounting and debt control are solely the duties of the account department. I have warned you severally to stay out of my way and in your lane. But it is the duty of the audit department to query transactions that are not straight. I only ask for evidence of payment or the debt should be reversed. I think it is time to put you in your place. Since you don't want to respect boundaries, you hear from me. Okay. I will make a report with what I have. I hope you're able to convince the MD. And one more thing. You should stop making threats. Because it's not everyone that is afraid of you. Because I do not fear you. Really? Thank you, baby, for picking me up. You're the best. Stop it. This is your thank you. It's not going to cut it this time around. Why, why, why didn't you go to work with your car? I know when you do this, you want to lie. Don't even talk about it. Wait first. Um, we talked about... Um, what's this guy's name? Um, Mr. Kenny at your office. Um, how is he? Is he still doing what he does? <laughs> Babe. His fraudulent activities increases day by day. But you know what? I have this feeling that he will soon meet his Waterloo. I don't know. You know, I'm just concerned about your safety. He makes so many threats. I'm just, you know, he might try to carry one of them out. Mm -mm. He dare not. He doesn't even have the balls to. He's all talks and no action. So you have nothing to worry Listen, about. Let, let me tell you something. It's not everyone that gets charmed the way you you do that thing <laughs> that you do with your face. And... Can you just stop? Don't worry. I'm fine. 
Okay? I don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing will happen to me, okay? Absolutely. And go to work with your car next time. Okay, sir. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, All right um, I need to go. All right, I'll Get call out you. of my car. With all pleasure. <laughs> Bye. Bye. These guys are following me. Kenny.
I'm sorry, Edna. But your boyfriend has made a wrong move. And you're the bait and the trap. You could still be spared if your boyfriend acts like a gentleman. <laughs> Hello. Hello, hello, yes, who is this? I am sure by now you've received the beautiful pictures of your lovely escapades with your sugar girl. Oh, I mean your messenger. Listen to me. I don't have time for this nonsense. What do you want? Who I am is not important. But what I want is very, very necessary and of utmost importance. But for the sake of the brotherhood, you can call me your worst nightmare. Listen, I... I told you I don't want to go straight to the point. Who, who are you? What do you want? Talk. Calm down, Mr. Kenny. You are very impatient, man. Are you like this with Edna? <laughs> now to what I want. 
Let me see. Um, yes, I remember. You are to resign the appointment as the head of accounts department of Beepswood PLC. First thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> Now listen to me. Listen. <laughs> I should resign. Eh? Are, are you crazy? Like, are you crazy? Oh, wait. Because you think you have some rubbish pictures about me and whoever you think I should succumb to your threat. Now, for your information, I will surely look for you. And when I find you, you will beg to die. Did you hear me? You will beg to die. Oh, Mr. Kenny, you fail to understand your predicaments here. You think you are the one in charge, but you're actually in a cage. And it's my cage. Listen, if you think I am going to listen to you, I'm warning you again. I will make sure I kill you. Let me give you a quick rundown of what is going to happen. Firstly, the video of your sexual misconduct will reach all the members of the board of directors and the staff of the company. You will be sacked according to the company's policy and you will lose all your benefits and entitlements. Secondly, I wonder how much your wife will appreciate seeing your penis sliding in and out of your messenger's genital right in your office. I doubt if your future employers will appreciate that as well. And thirdly, do not forget the internet. Never forget. <laughs> and need I remind you that after the sexual scandal, the company will receive anonymous tip-ups about your financial fraud to its evidences, especially that of Ocean State contracts. I doubt if they will appreciate that. So you see, whichever way you have lost, remember tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., I will be watching. And one more thing, Mr. Kenny, Call off the heat you ordered on your colleague, Miss Obiekwe. If anything happens to her, the police will have evidences. Very plenty of Please, them. Listen, 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 pictures listen. and orders. Name your price. Don't go that far. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hey. Jones, 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 listen to me. Jones, listen. Call off that heat. The heat on Stella, call it off, call it off. No, 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 no. Listen, it's not about money now. I am telling you to call it off. I don't want it to happen again. Nobody should touch her. If anybody touches her, I am finished. Call it off. I said, call it off. Am I not, am I not the one that... That, that initiated it. Cut it off. Now, immediately. Many more to go.
Mr. Kenny. Yes. Um, it was a pleasure working with you. And I also wish you good luck in all your endeavors. Well, thank you. <laughs> I wish you good luck, boss. Zig. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm always available, so anytime, whatever you need, call on me. Sure. Hmm? Sure. Greater heart, Mr. King. It was nice working with you. Ben, Ben, Ben. Oh, well, it was nice working with you as well, man. Well, we'll be seeing you from time to time, okay? No problem. So, people. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Bo. <gasps> Babe, you won't believe it. Just guess. Guess what? Mr. Kenny has resigned his appointment. <laughs> Look, as I'm talking to you now, he has cleared his desk. I don't know. But the truth is that he wasn't sacked. He just voluntarily resigned his appointment. Mm -hmm. ha, I love you too. See you soon. Bye. Yes. Woo. <laughs> mm. The, the driver has accepted to foot the bill of the burial. No, sir. You have to give my mother justice. You heard what the witnesses said. The car was... I'm sorry, young woman. I'm sorry. Um, you may leave my office right now. I have some other matters to attend to. No, Please. sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, come to my office immediately. Right away. Okay, sir. I'm coming. Come in. Sure, sir. Take her away. Sir! Corruption! Corruption! This is your old boy. You don't find any catch and go will punish you. Put out for where those bad boys did. Move! Idiot! Corruption! 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 You are a total disgrace to this country. You all know the truth! But you have taken bribe and kept your mouth shut. You had the best responder. The car was driven by Mr. Gayo Jade Ayo, the son of Chief Olanoye Ayo. He was drunk for crying out loud. He was even drinking behind the wheels. The witnesses saw him and gave that in their statement. Where is your conscience? Young woman, stop disturbing the peace around here. This is a police station. Your mother's death was an accident. The car was driven by an adult with a valid driving license. Mr. Kayode had offered to cut off your mother's barrier and to compensate you and your family as well. How much did you sell your conscience? How much is your humanity? 
How much did you save my mother's life? An innocent woman was killed by a spoiled drunk child. And you sell your conscience instead of giving her justice. You have fathers. Mothers! Love ones! If it were your family member, will you stand here and tell me this? Will you stand here and tell me this? <laughs> <laughs> Officer, take her out. Take her out for her. This is police station. Go to punish her! You are evil! Oh, 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 oh. Rest on, Mom. They are paying for their crimes against humanity. I will make sure of that. I will get them all. Keep resting, Mom. Till we meet apart no more. Forever in my heart. <sighs> well, I dare say that you look stunningly different tonight. So, um, what's the occasion? Is a woman not allowed to change her look once in a while? Well, sincerely, I have no problem with how you look. What I'm trying to say is that you are always, always beautiful. Well, I would take that as a first compliment. You know what? Um, I think we should just have fun and stop the whining, pseudo complaining and all of that. Just have fun. What would you take? Vodka is fine. Vodka, yeah, vodka. Um, waiter! So, um, tell me something. What's been happening to you? I mean, how has work been and everything concerning you? I mean, work, everything. What have I missed? Well, you haven't missed anything. And work is fine. Still the same monotonous work routine. Go to work, come back, hang out alone sometimes. You know, nothing new. Well, that must be a very, very boring routine, if you ask me. <laughs> well, if you want to insult me, Make it official. <laughs> Why would I want to insult a lady as beautiful as you? Hmm? All I'm trying to say is that you should uh, try and rev up your life. Um, open up those blocked channels in your life. Um, come out from what they call cocoon. Make friends. Probably get yourself a man. And feel good. I will take that under advisement. Thank you. I keep hearing I will take that, I will take that. I, I'm, I'm not sure 
I have seen any time that you have tried to work with the advice that I give. Mm -hmm. Talking about advice, you know, I traveled briefly mm -hmm. and I advised myself to get something for you. Something. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. I, I know it's beautiful, and it's going to be even more beautiful on, on a beautiful lady like you. You're beautiful, Abby. Now, I will take that compliment wholeheartedly. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Wow. Mr. Collins. Hmm. Why are you very sweet to me? I mean, you always want me around you. You care about what happens in my life. I mean, and now you have graduated into buying me gift. What do you really want from me? You want to know? Yes. What do I really want from you? I hope you want me to say it the way it is as the truth. Of course, the truth. And the truth is that I'm in love with you. As a matter of fact, there's no better way to put it. I am in love with you. Shut up. You talk to me. Oh, really? Mmm. <laughs> You don't wanna step on her toes, don't step on her toes, yeah. Avenger, you don't wanna get on her nails, don't get on her nails, yeah. Rider, she got web spider, she fears the tiger, she can pull the trigger. Rider, she a brave tigress, she passes for so many years. Rider, she ain't heartless. She tastes the food. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, good evening. I did find my. You don't want to step on her toes. Don't step on her toes. Yeah. Avenger. You don't want to get on her nails. Don't get on her nails. Yeah. Both like Mantis. She's the justice. She keeps the practice. She got the tactics. Don't ride her. She a brave soldier. She a bad striker. She really dangerous. Don't ride her. She a fast pyro. Okay, here wow. we are. So I say, welcome to my humble abode. He didn't tell me you live in a paradise. Or were you afraid I would tell that you're rich? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but talking paradise, I try as much as possible to make life comfortable for myself. You know, I um, haven't gone out all day and the stress out there. Mm -hmm. I'd like to come back to what you call paradise. I see. <laughs> Great place. Thank you. It's okay. uh, make yourself comfortable. Thank oh, you. Please. Mm. Please. Okay, I have wine, I have vodka, I have whiskey, I have scotch, there's brandy and beer. And then in the kitchen, there are foods just in case Her Excellency wants to nibble on something. <laughs> you didn't tell me you run an exquisite restaurant. I can't say but that again. Vodka would be fine. Vodka, perfect. Vodka coming. Here we are. Vodka. Yes. Vodka coming. <laughs> yeah.
Here we are. Thank you. <laughs> Man, cleaning glasses. Ooh, that's it. <laughs> mm. This tastes really good. Oh, yeah. Very really nice. Yes. I get my vodka from Britain mm. and Italy. Oh, wow. Yeah, so when I travel, I buy them in bulk so I can enjoy them whenever I want it to. Mm. Nice. I'll want one of this. I'll give you as many as you want. Are you doing right? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll take Sorry, care of it. Oh, it's okay. Sorry. I'll take care of it. No problem. I'll take Sorry. care of it. Oh. Here we are. Oh. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. I'm so sorry. I'll just clean it up. You know, I remember when I was in the hostel. Yeah. Back when I was a boy in school. Mm -hmm. I was a senior prefect in charge of cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that, that will do. The uh, cleaner will take care of the rest okay, much later. Fine. Okay, I'll just replace this and come back. Okay. Whew. Well, mind if I top it up for you? Oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You want okay. a second coin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. house well I live here alone except of course when the cleaner comes okay. and does her work and goes yeah. and that will be till tomorrow I see you know you're really sweet oh. you are a very sweet man oh Wow, thank you. I just wish you could be sweet in all you do. Probably we wouldn't be here. Well, I try to be me in all that I do. But if you call that sweet, then I guess I'm sweet. I'd better disagree. How do you mean? You're a moderate. What are you talking about? That's some kind of joke or something? The fake drugs you've been importing have killed uncountable lives. People have used your money to buy your debt because of your greed. And many more people are in life-threatening situations as we speak now. You were accused with evidences and testimonies. But your cohort took bribe from you and let you go. Well, the corrupt system we have spared you. But I won't. Humanity won't. What are you doing? Your day of reckoning has come. And it will be my pleasure 
to send you to hell. And believe me, it will be a slow, painful death. Don't even think about it. Because you can't move. Your body has been overtaken by what I fed you. <laughs> it will be a slow, painful night. And I will enjoy every bit of it. Just so you know the truth, my name is not Abigail, but Stella. Be a queen, and that will be the last name you will hear. And this face will be the last thing you will see on your way to hell. I hope you suffer more in hell. Oh, yes, I, I want to go home and rest, eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need this one, eh? Thank you, ma. Okay. Yeah. Come on, open the gate.
this is breaking news. The lifeless body of Mr. Collins Igobi, a popular importer, has been discovered today in his hometown in the early hours of today. The cause of his death is not known yet, as the police are still investigating this. However, according to the security man, simply identified as Musa, the last person to see him with alive last night was a lady who came home with him. Musa said that the lady left the compound a few hours after she walked in with Mr. Collins Igobi. According to the description Musa gave to the police, the lady whose sketch picture appears on the screen is the prime suspect in the death of Mr. Collins Igobi. The police urges anyone with useful information about the lady whose pictures appears on the screen to report to the nearest police station immediately. <laughs> Starting to do. I've been. I've been, yeah. You don't wanna step on her toes. Don't step on her toes. Yeah. I've been, yeah. You don't wanna get on her nerves. Don't get on her nerves. Yeah. Don't ride her. She got web spider. She fears the tiger. She gon' pull the trigger. Don't ride her. She a brave tigress. She passes, what's on your sleeves? Don't ride that, she ain't heartless, she tears the